Hi everyone, my name is Bill Butler with 3MAX Leading Edge. Thanks for watching How's the Market for April 2017. Well, uh, the two questions I get asked most are, how's the market? Well, it's still very much a seller's market, very active. Then I always get a follow-up question more and more uh, from people asking, well, why? You know, we've had this market for four to five years, what's happening? And the reason is, folks, we have a, a severe shortage of inventory. There is just nothing. We are pacing at half the amount of inventory that we had last year right now. And that's causing a problem because there is a large demand of buyers out there who are ready to go. They've been saving them. A lot of uh, uh, millennials, people age, you know, 28 to 35 that have, are, have good jobs, have saved a lot of money. They want to buy a house right now and there is nothing to buy. So the challenge is, you know, why don't we have inventory to buy? Well, two reasons. Number one, the move up buyer is getting squeezed. Typically in a regular real estate market, you have people that buy their first house for five to seven years. They earn a lot of equity. They build a lot of equity in the house. Then they go ahead, they put that equity into their next house that's a little bit bigger. Um, and then they sell the house that they were just in. The challenge right now is that even though the people who bought in 2010, 2011 in their quote unquote first house, uh, they've done very well. And thank you for buying if you did buy during that time. Uh, they've done very well. They've in the Melrose area, they've made on average about $200,000 uh, on their purchase. But what they want to buy instead of buying a $700,000 house uh, where they would keep roughly the same mortgage, the house that they want to move into the house that it makes sense for them to move into is not $700,000 now in Melrose anymore. It's eight fifty. It's $900,000. And there aren't too many of those either. And so the challenge is right now that move up buyer isn't selling. So that inventory is frozen. And the only people that are selling right now are people who are downsizing or people who are moving out of the area. The other challenge right now is there is a lack of new construction. Anywhere inside of 128, obviously, we don't see any new subdivisions popping up uh, that are helping us out with inventory. It's not happening and it ain't going to happen, right? So what's happening is you're basically getting one for one, small little homes getting torn down, McMansion getting put on top uh, instead of it. Uh, maybe you get some condos who you got a two family that they convert into three condos, something like that. But that's it. That's not going to solve the inventory shortage problem that we have. So until we, um, we have more <laughs> homes to sell, it's going to remain in this type of cycle unless people start losing their jobs. People always ask me, well, what, you know, how long can this go? Well, if you start seeing people getting nervous about employment, nervous about uh, their jobs, then it's going to slow down. And employment's always been a leading indicator for real estate. And right now the, the economy is doing pretty well. So um, it's anybody's guess. A lot of uh, economists are, uh, hope, are seeing the, the market on a nationwide level kind of level off in the next couple, two years. We'll see what happens. Boston is, is on the fringe. It's, um, it's highly desirable. We have a lot of uh, businesses moving into the area um, that are creating a lot of demand. So We'll see what happens. I hope this kind of helps clarify some things. If you are thinking of selling, selling you know, before Memorial Day is always a, a key target. Uh, we're happy to help you. If, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next month. Take care, bye.